episode of Behind the Lenses with Alexia Gonzalez, a videographer and a photographer, right? Okay, so let us know your your general bio, basically. So, born and raised in uh, Miami, Florida. My parents are Hispanic. I started doing videography work about two years ago. Um, it's going to be three years in March. And pretty much like just trying to bring every vision that I see into life and try to get the feel for every record that I shoot. Ooh, okay. That's like, pretty much I like it. You, you sound like you're doing a couple of interviews. So <laughs> nah, you, nah. You ready for this one? I just was good at lying and like interviews for jobs. <laughs> so like I think this is going to help me a lot. <laughs> okay. So um, let's get into the first question. So what should be the first thing that you start off with? Is it a camera, a passion? What is it? When I first started, I was uh, doing music and pretty much I linked up with my boyfriend who's Andre the Tipper okay. on Instagram. And as soon as I met him, I wanted to do his videos. And then from doing his videos, it became like, hey, I like your videos, how much you charge? And I'm just like, oh, you know, I, it was kind of like the main goal, but I was surprised it worked like that. And then from there, it just became a business and I just work with multiple artists. Okay, like, so how much did it take? Like, how much uh, videos did it take before people noticed? Like My first video. Oh, so the, fir so the first video, so... After the first video, <laughs> I had two clients. Oh my God, that's amazing. It was, I, I, I don't know how people... It wasn't good though. So I always <laughs> tell everybody your first video is never going to be good, but okay. the, you know, the more you do it, I think just like anything, you're going to okay. get better. So let's talk about free work. Do you believe in free work? I believe in free work if it helps your platform. As, a, like, As in, like, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it's a good opportunity, if it benefits you, then yeah, I do believe like some free work is fine. Okay, so what if you're... Uh, Five years down the line, do you still believe that? Yes. So, so I will always believe that. So opportunity is always gonna win. win always take opportunity, never break a bridge, and always you know your bridge, your net, your network is your net worth. Okay. I believe in that. Okay. okay. So, so what's the your style when it comes to uh, videography or photography? I kind of like when I go into um, pretty much first I have the artist send me a record then I kind of give them an overview like what I suggest depending if they have it in their budget, girls, location, cars. And then from there I start off always with performances, get that out of the way because I know every artist hates the fact that they have to perform more than once. <laughs> it's kind of like doing a concert like 500 times in one day so it kind of sucks but for the most part I just start off with the performances and then from there I do my slow-mo and then that's it. And if we have a storyline I try to like pan it in between. Okay. That's it. Okay. So let's get into pricing. Let's not talk about how much you charge. Yeah. But let's talk about the setup of how you charge. Do you have a set base price? Or yeah, I do. I do. Packages? I do. It's pretty much I go per location. Okay. So depending how many locations you choose, and if you need a drone, you know, if you need any add-ons, so people want After Effects, all that. I always take half deposit up front, and then from there that schedules your day so you're secured. Then the day of the shoot, I get the ending payment. I give you a receipt that guarantees in two weeks you get your video. And then from there, you get one free re-edit because I feel every artist should be entitled to a re-edit. Mm -hmm. And then after that, once you get your re-edit, I attach the full entire bounce to like an IG promo border, like what they do for Worldstar. Okay. Yeah, and that's pretty much that's, it. That's, that's official word, right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's lit. Like, I think like if I was an artist, I would pay it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that, that's for cool. the most part, because like promoting is everything as an artist so if you can even just have an instagram they take the time to make a little instagram borders things that visually catch people's eyes that you know make them want to click it okay so let's talk about how do you get your clients do you is it more more from instagram or is it more through instagram and clients but i would say instagram, instagram? like because most of my clients believe it or not are from out of town so I usually do like every weekend I'll have like somebody from Virginia, Washington DC is one of my like biggest like people that I work with. The DC area is very lit. Um, I work with people from Cali, New York, and they all come in town and they happen to find me from Instagram. Okay, blessingly. So, okay, so um, for me as a videographer, I look, I, I focus more on branding. So I, I do more like branding stuff, and I focus more on my brand. What do you focus on? Trying to do the best work that I can. I always try to get better every video. I don't feel like like every time I drop a product, I try to make sure it's better than the last one that I dropped. That's my goal, just to make sure that every product gets better than what I started with. Okay, so that's my main goal. I guess. Okay, you have a running gun shoot. You know, it's a running gun shoot, right? What's a running gun shoot? Okay, basically, uh, somebody calls you to set, don't have no plans, nothing, just uh, like I, a freestyle video. I, yeah, I have money, but I want a free a video today. I, I do just that all the time. time. So, what is your go-to when it comes to camera and lens? A 50 millimeter, and I shoot with a Sony A7R. 
Oh. I know everybody's using an A7S, A7S2. I know I haven't upgraded, but that's what I use. Okay, okay. So let's talk about stabilizers. Do you use any? I have a walking stick for performance shots, but for slow mo, I tend to just free uh, freehand it. Like, okay. But so I don't use like any gimbal because mine doesn't even have autofocus for the lens that I have. Okay. So I just manual focus. Freestyle it for like slow mo, and then when I do my performance is, shots, I have a. a is the sticker stick. like a stick, like a like a glide cam, or is it like a model? Like just a stick. Oh, Literally, okay, I just have model. like good like <laughs> balance when I walk back and forth, and I try to make okay, as so, much movement so as I can. So you're always keeping yourself. So stable. far, so far. Okay, I try okay. to stay as stable as I can. <laughs> All right, so um, I, I see a, a lot of music videos. Like as I watch, I see like people don't connect the the music video with the songs. How important do you think that is? It's pretty important. As long as there's something visually that attracts people from like either a storyline or like the girls in the video, there has to be something that visually attracts people. Because I've seen videos like with no budget look great, but mm -hmm. it has sense of effects. It has a storyline. There's something that pans to it. So it all depends. Okay. 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 So on the set, you we have different things that comes into play, such as performance, location, lighting. What is the most important to you? them knowing their words and performing correct and just like i guess the most important thing for me is staying on time and staying like everybody kind of staying in focus with the visual okay. i think that's the worst part like when you're in a setting that sometimes i'll shoot and there's like 30 to 40 people and it's like everybody you know i think <laughs> having direction i think is the most important part of a set being a good director Okay. And I'm making sure everybody's staying to focus because, you know, like just like any artist, when you shoot a visual, like that's the best part. You know, mm -hmm. you get to drink, you're on girls, da da da. So <laughs> people get kind of lost. Yeah, they get lost I, kinda, I, I think that's the, the most important part, like having good direction for each. Like make sure you're a good director on your set. Okay. When it comes to sets, like how do you direct your, um, your, your, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, your talent? Um, Pretty much like I just grab the artist and I'll be like, okay, you're gonna stand here. I don't have tape or anything like that. I just like pretty much position them. I tell them to do as good as they can. And from there, I just, I visually have to be there. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I just position and, and go. And That's work. just my way. Okay, so I know in this business, it can get very saturated. And it's a lot of photographers, a lot of video photographers. Yeah. What keeps you going? Is the economics? Is the, the, the living the free life? What is it? I like it. I just love it. Like, I don't know, like, when I used to work, I was a vet tech for four years. And when I used to go to work on a Saturday, Sunday, I'd be like, damn, like, I love the animals, but damn, I hate this. My job consistently is on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it does not bother me. Like, I don't go, oh my God, damn, I have to shoot this. Like, you know, there's a, you know, there's people you, you might want to work with more, like, just like anything, but I don't ever, never want to work at what I'm doing. What artists do you want to work with? If it Let's, let's not let's go away well i want to no. only work with my artists but if i could choose somebody like that's out there that like you know a famous person right now at the moment rico nasty she's super dope okay, okay. that's somebody i would definitely want to work what with. what directors do you want to work with i've worked with almost every director i've wanted to work with believe it or not oh. um i work with joe young spike which he's like a big part of like when it comes to direction like the advice he's been like a great influence okay. I work with 20K, I've worked with him like personal one-on-one -on -one, and he's put me in positions too that, you know, without them, I, there's probably positions I wouldn't have been in without them when their guidance and like, I was blessed to kind of like work with people that, you know, I, vis I visually saw their work and wanted to work with, so. Okay, okay. All right, so we know there's uh, different um, uh, directors out here. One oh, and Kareen, Kareen Evans, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, the, the, the girl, uh, the new girl director with Drake. Kareen Evans is somebody I would oh, want to work oh, with as a director. I, I didn't even know who that is. She's a female. Oh, I gotta check her out. Yeah, Thank you for that. Dope. She just gave me one, guys. She just she's gave me one. Very dope. All right, so um, when it comes to directing, I know people. It's many people that do one man band or a team. Which one do you choose? Um, a team's always better, but I'm pretty much a one man. Like I shoot and edit on myself, and then my my man, like which is also my artist, he's pretty much like my support team. But for the most part, I am a one-man band. Like when it comes to my work, so you. You're, but a team is always better. Which, I just have which to find a team. Have? Which one would I rather? A team that's loyal. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> hey, I heard that a team that is loyal. Yeah. Okay. A team so that's loyal. Team that is loyal. Oh, yeah. Okay. How did you learn how to do this? Um, online. Online. Just literally what online. Is it? YouTube or books? YouTube, no books. Just the, YouTube. Just literally YouTube like video? tutorial. Anything that I ever wanted to learn, like I'm like, how you color a video how do you do this like i would just literally how to on youtube and and watch it to like the end and do it with the visual you know like i'm one of those people like anybody who's just visual i'm sure they're like visually more impaired than like actually just hearing it when mm -hmm. i hear things i'm like sometimes i don't pay attention 
but when I see things it's better so I'll be doing the tutorial and then like literally going okay step one do this pause go okay now set you know and that's pretty much how I learned okay okay all right so if you had any tips what would you share um that there's a lot of things you could do on Premiere that you can also that there's a lot of things you can do on Premiere that you don't need After Effects that's pretty much like the best thing that I've learned okay so um I know it's different programs people use. What is your primary program? That's Premiere. Premiere. Premiere, yeah. Have you ever tried Final Cut? No, because I don't have a Mac. Oh, okay. So I use, I have used Sony Vegas, which is like, it was like a, I don't know, you've heard of that? Yes, yes. Yeah, I used to, that's they, the call, first they, call one. It, they call it the starter program. Oh my God, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's not like, because like Premiere, everything's like right there. You know, you literally click on your clip and then, you know, you see the coloring, da 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 when you're on uh, Sony Vegas, it's like, okay, brightness and contrast, drag, and you literally gotta like do everything like one by one, and that was like super annoying. So oh. I, you know what? There's a guy, GT Films, I don't know if you heard of him, he uses Sony Vegas, and he's like super good. For real? Yes. That, I ain't gonna lie, you dropping some jewels. Yes. I, I'm like, as I go through it, and I'm looking for people, with different people to work with, I'm, I'm starting now. He's, he's dope about okay, our guys, and he's working right now. Check him out. Okay, so what is your favorite lens? Right now, I've only used my 50 millimeter. Um, there's not nothing, like really right now, I would like to get a Sony lens, anything wide angle, because I haven't really shot any visual with a wide angle lens, especially that my, my camera's crop sensor, so it's like a pain in the ass. Okay. That's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, have you, you never shot with a full frame? Never. Oh, never. I literally, I'm that person that like, you know, I'll have to stand back and then, you know, shoot the visual, but never have I shot with like a full frame lens or anything like that. Just. Doing what I do. Full frames are the best. I, I know, know I can I, imagine. I, 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 I doubt that I could go back to like a crop because my friend uses a crop sensor. Yeah, and yeah. I do not like it. When it comes to photography, do you rather use like regular lighting or do you use a flash? I use two stand lights that say when I do photography. Okay, so but a lot of like there'll be a lot of clients because like usually when I do get photo gigs, it will be like on set. So most of the time I do use natural lighting, I guess, if you kind of really want to think about it. I have done product um, product photography, hair, and all that. And those I have used um, just two stands on the side. That's it. That's pretty much it. Oh, so you kept it real simple. Very simple. <laughs> very, very simple. All right. So um, when uh, when you're shooting, do you go for a bokeh look or do you do you like more your, your um, thing to be more in frame with everything? It's like sharp. What do you mean? Like basically... Uh, like, you know how the 50, do you that bokeh in the back is very blurry? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, like, having you, a main focus. Yeah, like, do you like that main focus look, or do you like Depends on the location. Okay, like, so. like I, I shot somebody literally, like, the other day, like, a client that he came from, I think it was Virginia, and we shot in a park. Like, those are things that I wouldn't, like, focus on yeah, the background. Focus like, on the yeah, background. you know, and then from there, I would add probably an effect or something, just to sauce it up a little bit. But for the most part, I guess you could say it all depends on the location, if that would be the only focus that I'm shooting. Okay, so what's next for you? To, I would say to get better in my work itself and try to stand out in every visual that I do with every artist. That's pretty much what's next. Okay. I don't really have anything planned, but just to get better. Okay, so where can we find you at? Okay, my Instagram is AlexiaG77. My Twitter is AlexiaG7. I do not have a YouTube, but I do have a YouTube playlist if you search, search in Alexia G Shot It. And that's pretty much it. And thank you for having me today behind the lens. It's a super dope platform. I think every videographer should come on here and like, Talk about your work and get your get your exposure in and get everybody to see, you know, you behind the lens. Because, you know, we are behind the lens. So nobody really knows who's doing the work except the tag. So thank you again.